everybody welcome back to great northwest weaponry this is thomas and today we are doing day at the range round three uh today we're taking a look at american wheel guns uh we just saw was the colt police positive we've also got with us today a smith and wesson model 1917 probably my favorite revolver that i own honestly and colt model 1895 1894. <laughs> We're going to be just putting two cylinders for each of these guns. Uh, yeah, just having a little fun at the range. Got target about 12 yards out, give or take. I um, think we're actually going to go with the Colt Model 1894 next. Got some ammo just sitting on a little table in front of me here. All these are six shooters. Got two Colts, one Smith and Wesson. And the latest date on any of these three is the police positive in the holster currently that's uh, 1921 dated, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, I, I kind of had been thinking uh, after posting the first day at the range video, I've got the second one filmed. As I said, this is the third, but uh, the second one hasn't actually been posted uh, at the date of recording this one. And... The first one really did uh, have really good performance so far, um, especially with it being a new a new feature on the channel. So probably going to be something that we're going to be carrying on in earnest. Uh, honestly, might be posting one in between every demo uh, with, you know, the, uh, the versus videos scattered throughout the mix. But these are just easy to shoot and fun for me to do. None of these three guns has been seen on the channel particularly recently. The most recent actually is what I've got right here, the Colt Model 1894. And uh, all three of these guns we've done demos on. And if you would like to see the demos, I will be posting links in the video description. But let's go ahead and just put six through the Colt here. Not very good with the double action on that one. Gonna have to give that another try. Load up another six here. Yeah, having a hard time fishing the cartridges out of this box. There we go. Both of the Colts we've got here are 38s, actually. The uh, Model 1894 being a 38 Long Colt and the Police Positive a 38 200 or 38 Smith & Wesson. Uh, we've got 38 Smith & Wesson to run through it today. But another six with this. I think we're going to go and do all double action on this one. Let's see if I can make any hits. Five for six, considerably better than the O for three that we did on the last round there. Go ahead and set this guy aside and switch to the Smith & Wesson, my baby. If you recall, Smith & Wesson Model 1917 and Colt Model 1917, for that matter, are loaded with moon clips or half moon clips. Originally, it would have been half moon clips, but they do make 45 ACP moon clips. And we're going to do three and three, double and single. After running those 38s, that 45 hits like a truck. <laughs> I love this thing, though. Uh, it's definitely a little more on the easy side to aim. Uh, may just come down to the gun being more accurate or feeling a little more natural in my hand. Might just be a matter of practice makes perfect, honestly. But let's go ahead and put another six through. I'm going to try and do all double action on this one. I love this thing. The double action is pretty heavy, but not awful. I've definitely had worse. Uh, Nagant revolver, I'm looking at you. Now I guess uh, probably just round it out with another six through the police positive. 
and I've got to throw this out here. I don't know how much I addressed this in the original demo. This thing is like too small for my hand, actually. I almost can't cock it and then get my pointer finger back into there. It feels very unnatural for me. I have to hold really low on the gun for it to feel natural at all. So I'm actually going to try and do that. And again, as we did with the other two, we're going to... Uh, probably do this one all double action or not I actually think I did all double action on the first run on this I could be wrong but we're gonna do a three and three whatever <laughs> all right six rounds loaded grip low on the gun because my hands are too large for this little tiny thing here we go Trigger didn't reset. Sticking a little bit. Might need cleaned, but yeah, it's accurate. It just takes some getting used to uh, when uh, when you're not used to shooting something so small. Mo this is the smallest functional revolver that I have. I do have two more American revolvers that we didn't bring out today. Uh, considering neither of them is in uh, any condition to be fired, those being my Merwin and Holbert second model, which we also did a demo of, and uh, Ivor Johnson pocket safety model, of which we haven't actually done a demo of yet. But these guns will all be featured again, for sure, uh, be it in versus videos or other day at the range videos. Uh, I know the two military revolvers that we had out with us today will be coming out again on the 4th of July. Got a little something special planned for that. And, uh, yeah, assuming that the, uh, round two day at the range video and this one does any good, again, you'll probably be seeing these popping up fairly frequently as they're easy to shoot and just, just fun to do. I, I like having an excuse to bring these out. This Colt, uh, police positive, for instance, I don't think we've seen this thing on the channel for about a year at this point. So definitely nice to get them back out on the range. I honestly can't even say that I've fired it more than maybe a dozen times total since we did the original demo of it so nice to take some of my uh underused weapons back out to the range and uh get a little more time on the trigger with them meanwhile hope you all enjoyed the video it's been thomas with great northwest weaponry and i will see you next time